la 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 all right so we are filming with i believe the lg stylo 6 this is an audio test so hopefully you can hear me very well and um yeah front face action with the lg stylo 6 baby official audio test right here right now hopefully you guys can hear me very well with this awesome cell phone camera and uh that's all i got at the moment so uh Yes! Pretty good. Also pretty good. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. This is my unbiased, truthful opinion and final verdict on the LG Stylo 6's camera. Now, originally coming into this thing, I had a more so sunshine and rainbows approach about this camera. However, I kind of thought it was a little bit too good to be true, and I decided to dig deeper into the camera and, you know, what it's good at, what it's not good at. And uh, this piece of paper explains all of that right now. Now, as you see on this piece of paper, I have three faces. Happy face, which means it's great. Okay, smirky face, which means it's, eh, it's all right. And then the sad face, which means it's not very great. And then on the other side of this piece of paper, I have five categories that I pretty much reviewed and graded on the LG Stylo 6's performance. So without further ado, let's start off with the top one. We're going to start off with the stabilizer. And for the stabilizer, I decided to give it a happy face because the stabilizer actually works really well. It's super smooth. It's super dependable. I haven't found any jerks or any, you know, rough movements at all on it so far. And uh, it works pretty well. So good job on the stabilizer. All right. So just to update to what you were just watching, I actually updated my list quite a bit because my real final verdict on the LG Stylo 6 is the fact that it can be a very streaky cell phone camera. Now, I mean streaky in a good way. I have no bad reviews about it or anything. The only thing I would kind of complain about, which we're going to talk about next, would be the audio of the LG Stylo 6. Did I say 3 earlier? Anyway, LG Stylo 6. Anyway, um, I have two faces down for the audio of the LG Stylo 6. I have the great happy face and I have the smirky okay face. Audio can be very, very streaky at times. You know, it could probably sound like this if it sounds good. Or at times it can cut out exactly like this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's not the worst pothole I've seen, but anyway, that's beside the point. Yeah, not a good sound. And it's also unfortunate that the LG Stylo cameras are very well known for doing that a lot. And it still looks like that hasn't changed for the Stylo 6 either. Next up, we have pictures of the LG Stylo 6. How are the pictures? Once again, I have two faces. I have the happy face and the smirky okay face. Once again, you have another streaky situation where pictures can be up or down. Mainly, I say on the upside, but, you know, down as far as quality goes, which also quality. Uh, same result. Happy face, smirky face. Uh, pictures, you know, whether it's pictures or videos, you know, the quality can be, like I said before, pretty much up and down. However, I do have a few tips for you that I learned from other creators that have had this cell phone as well. Um, if you're taking pictures, you might want to keep the HDR option on at all times. And if you're shooting video, you want to keep full HD mode on at all times as well. That way that will enhance your photo taking and video taking experiences. Uh, quality should go up quite a bit more than it was before. Um, I actually made a minor little boo-boo when I was filming at the park. I actually had it on regular HD and not full HD. So that was one mess up of mine that I made before. However, with this footage that you're looking at, I was just on my way to work one morning on a beautiful sunny morning. Um, this clip actually has the full HD on, so I hope you can actually notice the difference. 
I guess you could also say the same about when I was on the road as well at that one point with the wide angle lens and the regular lens. And it looked pretty clear there too, so there's that. And then last but not least, I actually just mentioned it, but the wide angle lens. Happy face! The wide angle lens works really good for the LG Stylo 6. I don't really notice any change in quality or anything, but that's not really important to me. As long as you can see much more things that you didn't see before on the regular camera, that's all that really matters. It works on this cell phone, and uh, as a result, that is that. Also, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I think personally the LG Stylo 6 is a pretty decent camera overall. It can be streaky with its features, not all of its features, but some of its features. But overall, I think it's a pretty decent camera. I would definitely recommend getting this at the stores if you haven't already. I'm a little bit late, so I do apologize. But either way, go get yourself an LG Stylo 6. I think it's definitely worth it. You know, a little bit more pricier than, say, the K51, but hey. It's worth it. <laughs> With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ahmad K. Wilson, or AKW for short. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed my video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel down below, and click the bell notifications to get notified on every single time I post a brand new video. Share your comments down below, because I love getting to read your comments. I really do. And if you also have any other recommendations on any cheap budget phones that you want me to review in the future, also share that down in the comments section below. And slowly but surely I will definitely review it for you guys with that being said ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching my videos I appreciate it and I'll check you out next time